Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Biz. I'm Tatiana and here today I have the privilege of having Christine Krogh with me. Christine, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, it's going to be here. Christine is an Amazon rock star. She actually was featured on Amazon.com as a success story with her brand Mama Moon Boutique, which did $3.7 million in 2017. So Christine, um, I would love for you to just kind of introduce yourself to the audience, yeah. how you got started, when you got started, sure. and um, let's mention that Christine has four children, so <laughs> I know a lot of you can relate to this, so we'd love to hear how you did this. Yeah, so I uh, got started in 2011, so a little before a lot of other sellers jumped on, and I just um, had four kids, my youngest was a baby at the time still nursing him and whatnot. And I really just wanted to make some side income from home, you know, pay for piano lessons and soccer and college fund and all that. So I um, thought, wow, it'd be great to sell online. I just thought that'd be really flexible and I can work around my kids, like dentist appointments. I actually had one kid that was in speech therapy at the time. So I, I needed to just be around to take him to his therapy and, and do things with the kids. So I thought selling on would be great. So I created a product called Baby Under Socks and it's like these socks that go underneath your kids' pants so that they can't take off the socks. Because my youngest was always like taking his socks off right. in winter and then his feet would get really cold and right. it also can be work as pajamas. So I created them and and, they, and I started my own website. And they were selling okay, but then someone suggested I list them on Amazon too. And I looked into that, listed it, and then they just started selling a lot like as soon as I started on Amazon. Right. And then I started adding more products. So interesting. So yeah. how many products do you have now? About ten. Ten products. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And do you have any employees to help you, or, or if so, you when did you start hiring? Them? Um, I think about in 2014 is when I do have like three women that work part time. They work about 15 hours a week, and they help package and ship stuff. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so you're fulfilling things uh, locally. Or? No, well, so our we have a product called uh, Wool Dryer Balls mm -hmm. Smart Sheep. And uh, we like to inspect them here because occasionally, we don't have this happen very often, but they can mold. And so we like to just make sure they're really high quality and that there's nothing wrong. So we have them shipped here and then my employees inspect them and then package them and then ship them to Amazon. Oh, awesome. So yeah. you do have a fulfillment center locally that... so you They work from home. Oh, they work from home? Yeah. Oh, wow, awesome. So we have a trailer. We do have a warehouse. We have a trailer and we take it. My husband usually takes it from... The warehouse to these women's homes because they like they're all moms too they all want to work nice. from home and then they inspect and package them in their homes and then ups comes to their driveway and ships them to yeah. amazon i love that moms and play moms <laughs> it's great yeah I met, I met these moms either in my neighborhood or they were in my carpool so oh, yeah that's amazing so um how what's your um what do you do for marketing like how do you bring brand awareness because you are building a brand right you're not just yes. labeling the hottest product here and there you're actually right. building a brand for mm -hmm. um, mama moon yeah so like mama moon's kind of the umbrella and then i have my smart sheet brand i have my baby under socks brand i mentioned earlier and i have a brand called inspiration play mm -hmm. and that has toys and games and that's kind of what's growing right now and i'm adding new things to it all the time and so i i actually do work with bloggers Oh, yeah. and YouTube um, channel people and uh, they'll just post about my product and you know I'll give it to them for free for their kids to try and they'll do a little video or a little mm -hmm. Instagram post so I do do that I run contests and different things nice so nice so what you know you got to the number one place um, on Amazon for the dryer balls mm -hmm. so what do you what did you do to really get to that number one spot was it because there wasn't a lot of competition there was a lot of competition I came out with a cheaper version than other people the packaging was cheaper it just wasn't as high-end but a lot of times people can't afford high-end yeah. products and so um, my product was like I don't know, but almost like $15 cheaper. And there was only a couple other high-end competitors anyways. And so it became number one based on the price and based on the marketing. I, I do heavy on PPC yeah. and stuff like that. So Amazing. So what is your strategy for sourcing products? Like what do you, it seems like you're very um, curious. Like you're always trying to find <laughs> ways to yeah. improve a product or um, change it or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So how do you approach product selection? Um, so I... I just try to think of things that I would want to use, really, or my kids would want to use, or people that I know um, would want to use. And then, you know, I, I write a lot of things down. Mm -hmm. I write and write and write and write, and then I research and see, you know, is there something like that already out there? How can I improve on it? 
And really most of the time it's like, would I want to buy that thing? And if I have a need for it, then I know there's other people out there that have a need for it too. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. I know for myself, I have like this journal and my mind is kind of always ticking. Yeah. I see things that say, oh, you know what? I actually have a journal that says like, how can I improve things? So if I find something that I'm doing or using that I'm not happy with, or it's causing frustration or stress, and then I say, (laughs) okay, well, I'll write this down and then try and think of a solution to improve it in some way. Um, um, and some, you know, most of the ideas suck, but right. we only need one really great idea. It's true. I probably go through at least 100 to 200 ideas until I come up with that good idea. Yeah. But it always gets your wheels turning to, to just like think about things and write them down and yeah, do that. That's awesome. Awesome, Christine. Thank you so much for being yeah. here. Um, I want to link your products down below. I know some people might sure. be interested in, you know, the game and the dryer balls and all Absolutely. that. So we'll link everything down below. Is there anywhere else that people can find you? Um, yeah, I'm on uh, I'm on Facebook under um, Seven Figure Map. I have a little group that I do mentoring and things like that on there, and um, I can put my email or whatever too if they want to email me. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Awesome. Thank you again, Christine. Appreciate yeah. being here. Nice to meet you. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. And if you want to get started with your Amazon FBA business today, then I'm going to send you some free video training um, just so you get a better understanding of how this whole process works, more of a step-by-step in-depth guide uh, so that you can also enjoy this abundant internet lifestyle. So to gain access, all you got to do is go to luxhealth.com slash online biz, enter your name and your email address and subscribe. And immediately I'm going to send you your first training. Um, but if you don't get that email right away, sometimes it goes to the spam folder. Sometimes you have to opt into the mailing list. So just be aware of that. And don't worry, I'm not going to spam you, but I will be sending you several emails over the course of several weeks, just because I don't want to bombard you with information, too much information at once. You're going to get into analysis paralysis. So look out for my emails, valuable content for you to get started on Amazon. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys.